Welcome. Oh, loading screen. I wasn't sure if it was just going to start or not, so. I forgot this game has loading screens. This game has much better loading screens than one. They're cool. I like these. I like everything about this game. Like, this game is great. God, just wait. If we get to the car, the car is so much better in this game. Yeah, I knew it was just going to start. I really need to save, though. So I don't lose everything. I do two more episodes a day, and then I won't have time. I've got to wait for furniture to be delivered, so I can play it now because I know it's not gonna be delivered. They said they're gonna come in like an hour and a half. So I've probably time to do two more episodes. A third I could possibly do, be pushing it to be able to two. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Mind your friend, Dave Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Oh, there's my AI. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, I didn't do Shepard, that mission. Unlike the irrational Shh. mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Yep, I know. Yep, I know. I know. I know all this. <laughs> it's just telling you how to play, whatever. This is such a great game. I, mean, so, I am like so glad I'm playing this game. I know I keep saying that. But this is such a good game. Ugh. Oh, Zaid. I don't like Zaid. He's a jerk. I don't like Zaid. How many people have to find? These are just the side ones. Yeah, I can go to the normally crash site. What's this? Oh yeah, this is just a new car. And I can go to the crash site of Normandy. There's nothing really there. You can just kind of walk around. Uh, can I find the convict, archangel, wardlow, professor, speak to the council, the veteran, the master thief, and stop the collector. The master thief! She's the coolest character. It's spoiler to she, I guess, but whatever. Oh, this is her costume. She is the coolest character in the game. It's awesome. We have to say for yourself, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? <laughs> The Joker's much better in this game too. Control exam. Oh, this is any experience? Yes. 
sure you give me screens, it'll pop up. I'm just getting some of this stuff. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Welcome aboard, Commander. Oh, this lady. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I thought I remember her name. I'll mend Yeoman. your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, I thought it's I such an honor Kelly. to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Ah, I don't care. I better you. go. You okay. can, like I said, you can hook up with anyone in this ship. You can hook up with her, you can hook up with any of the crew members you got. That's about it. You get a lot of the crew members in this game. Let's see what do I have. Anderson. Citadel. Yep, Zaid. Yep, I got all the armors. Okay. Nothing important to really read yet. Uh, I thought he was... Yeah, I can have e Edie tell me where all the rooms are. Here is Jacob. Here's his room. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Sorry, because I want to be a jerk to these people, but I don't want to... I want to be the jerk, but I don't want to lose them as friends. Friends in this game, if that makes any sense. I can hear her. Yeah, I don't want to piss him off because I want to do his quest still. I don't know if you piss him off if you can't, you can do the quest or not. Because I want to do everything Commander, in this game. Received a new message at your private terminal. Already? How? How? Oh, some armor. Who cares? Yeah, I have my captain's cabin. That's where you can change your armor and buy fish for room and all this stuff. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, yeah, we're in this here. I'm going to go downstairs and talk to the engine room people. So you can actually, um, as you play through this game, you're upgrading your ship and you're doing stuff. Your choices can kill everyone off in this game. I mean, everyone. If you actually do bad enough, the game will kill you off at the end. And then you can't carry the save over the Mass Effect 3. It's just done. Again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. That is my friend. Come Remember on, her? I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. 
I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Yeah, later on, on, she can get me plastic surgery if I want. Because my scars can get really bad. Hey, friend. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement mm -hmm. of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Or Cerberus both. has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Tons of pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic That's very my biotic add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. There we go. 
Maybe I'll date her, or maybe I won't. Who knows? Who knows who I'll date? I don't know. Oh, the game will tell you off to go in here for her. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. I guess not. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Oh, oh the old story's month. not good. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Yep. That story does not go well. Real echoes for that. Alright, let's go engineering. This episode's just gonna be talking. It's one of those talking episodes. This game's gonna have a lot more after than we go down there. I think you guys are the only ones here. Yeah, these guys are blue. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. <laughs> what a jerk. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Yeah. So if you don't get them that, they'll die. <laughs> just so you know, if you ever play this game. If you don't get that, they will die. The engine at one point when we get attacked will blow up and kill them, so. <laughs> you really if you don't do everything in this game, everyone dies, essentially. No for you, yeah, I know. Uh eh, we can help the galaxy now, why not? It's not quite time. Yeah, I like this too. So it's actually driving around. Oh we're starting right off with Omega. And big reason I want to show off this. Do I have any probes? I do have some probes. So in this game, instead of going down a lot of the plants to get mi minerals, I don't know if you remember. They think I have minerals, but they're kind of useless. You scan, you find the minerals, and you shoot for them. This is a bad mother I shouldn't have gone for it. projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Yeah, and you'll get research projects. I can't do them yet because I don't have that doctor guy. That's a good one. Probe launched. Research projects, uranium is used to upgrade heavy weapons. And element zero is like the hardest one to find. If you actually do Liara's mission, this becomes much easier. And there's like an upgrade you can get. Ah, that's not too bad. There's an upgrade you can get that I want to do with the doctor to make this better. Alright, it's plants first. Done. This is Mahler, so still on materials aren't been super Uh. I mean, that's okay. It's a bad idea. Yeah. But even the fueling stations, you can buy more probes, so I can go here and go buy probes. I have no fuel. Yeah, anyway, you can level up all that as you progress through the game. Um, it, so we'll get the scientist guy layer up. When you upgrade for him, they're stronger, but he'll only do so many upgrades and then he'll stop doing upgrades. So I always do the scan upgrade for him. Does he make... I don't know if he makes upgrades for him, actually, I think about it. But he only does a few. I think if you do the scan upgrade, up, 
It's better though than if you leave him alone. I always do for him, so. That's a thing. And now we're heading into Omega. This place is pretty cool. Good. We get to see what's her name. Um, we get stupid Zaid here. I hate Zaid. <laughs> he's, he's such a jerk, this guy. When you go through his missions and stuff, he's such a jerk. And you know what? We'll see him on the next episode of Mass Effect. I'll see you then.